In this question, day is a box and whisker diagram. So again, uh, the data is separated to four quadrants. Each interval here should have the same number of data, and the mark here representing the minimum. Q1 first quartile, Q2 which means the median, Q3 and also the maximum here. It's easy for us to get the range and IQ out here. So for the range, mean maximum value minus the minimum value. Here maximum is 98 while the minimum is 24. So we have 74. And the unit is max, so we better write down the units also. After that, uh, also asking about the interquartile range. That means the middle 50% data. And based on the definition, IQR mean Q3, the third quartile, minus the first quartile. Q3 minus Q1, which is 72 minus 40. We have 32 marks difference. It's the middle 50% data differences. And then we finish part A and we look at part B. There are four students did not attend the above test, so they have the make up test. Their score are the following, which means that on top of this data, we are going to add four more data inside. It's very important to identify, do we adding the data inside to form a new set of data or we withdraw some data from it. And in this case, we are going to add some new data to it. And then our mission is to find out the new mean and the new median in this case. To get the new mean, we are going to find out the new total values and also the new total number of values. How many values here? Uh, before that, you have to know that in a box and whisker diagram alone, they don't give us the data of each number one by one. So it's impossible for us to find the mean from the box and whisker diagram. But however, in this question, they specifically told you that the original mean is 60 marks. And originally, there are 30 students here. It's helped us to get the original total. Therefore, our strategy is the original total. And then plus the addition data. The addition data is 40 to 56, 67, and 75 here. Originally, we have 30 students, but after we add some value, we have 4 more students here. So we should divide by 34, but not just 30. Now, the problem is what is the original total? Originally, we have 30 students, and then on average, each of them get 60 marks. So which means the total is 60 marks on average, and then we have 30 of them. If you're not really sure here, you may think about the original mean. It's equal to the original total. Divided by original number. Therefore, original total is unknown. The original number is 30, while the original mean is 60. If we both sides times 30, then we can show that the original total can use the mean times the number. So 60 times 30 is the original total. Then we just follow our step. Then you find that it's still 60. It's not necessarily the same. Usually there may be some changes. But the reason why this time the mean is unchanged is because the additional part, the average of additional part is also 60. That's why if we add two groups of data together, combine, and then we will get the mean is 60 also. Final part is about the new median. We have to analyze the position of the new added data. 42, uh, we may add 42 here. And then 56 is maybe approximate here. 67 approximates here. And finally 75 approximates here. The key point is our median is in the middle. We add 2 to left hand side, we add 2 to right hand side. 
which means that because left and right is balanced, so the middle one is still at the middle one. Therefore, the median, the middle one's value is unchanged. It should be still the same, which is 58. So we just need to write down the new median is equal to 58. In fact, if uh, they are not balanced, for example, one add to left hand side and then three add to right hand side, then we don't know what is the value of the next data. So in those cases, uh, we kind of uh, find a new median.